has all right okay <laughs> hmm some for some weird reason there the microphone disconnected for a bit but here we are uh finally the third iteration of prairie versus rain tfh crew battle so this event hosted by the fauna is one of the few events that we have that are non-region lock this is purely casual event we've had this twice before so if you want to check out how we've done this event in the past you can check our youtube channel right <laughs> Okay, yes, I'm glad that I'm finally audible. But yes, uh, this event has already been done, been done twice. And pretty much what we do is uh, we ask people to participate, just register. And then af after we got a whole list, we just divide the teams into two. And they do a, a race to a certain number of wins, usually by based on the number of players. So in this case, we have 12 participants. So this will be a, f a team's first to 12. However, each fight would be a best of one. So the, the idea is each team will be sending their player to face another player. And they have to pretty much strategize on whom they're supposed to send. Because until e all of the players are able to finish playing, they cannot go twice in a row. So that's something they have to take into consideration. So yeah, let's see how this rolls out. And actually, I think we should check out how this rolls out just right just right about now since uh yeah uh, we we actually already prepped ahead of time and asked the players whom they'll be sending so in the rock paper scissors uh team rain had lost and they will have to be sending their player first okay oh, by the way just for everyone's reference let's take a look at all the players that we have for each team although i must have to say some of the players are currently MIA as of the moment. So it's a, for Team Prairie, we have Arnab, Baltoise. Finnick currently is having some power issues. So because of that, I'll, I'll be covering for him in the meantime. I also have Bicaf. Do not know how to pronounce this name. So I'm sorry if I butchered this, but Mraken, I think. And then we have Jet Dead. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce these names, but we have these players from all over the world. This is Team Prairie. Let's take a look at Team Rain. So, so for Team Rain, we have Feli Oleander, we have Rev Papliak, we have CDP Gamer, Mikey Beats, Electra X, and Jive. So this is a six versus six. That's why it's a first to twelve. Anyway, let's get back into the game. And so it seems like for Team Rain, they'll be uh, since they lost the RPS. They're sending their first player first. Electra is whom they declared, and in response, Team Prairie will be sending Zadek. I, I really should learn how to pronounce that. I should have asked ahead of time. <laughs> Sorry. But anyway, it's time to get to that. Let's take a look. Okay. So, let's have these two players. Okay. Let's have Electra for player one. And let me swap the scoreboard for that one. Okay. There you go. First crew battle. Uh, first fight. Let's see here. Okay, the ping seems not so bad. Considering we have India versus, I believe, Poland. Did I check the countries correctly? But yes, uh, keep in mind a completely casual event. We are expect we are we have already a hundred percent ex expected potential connection issues. But so far, seems to be looking pretty good. I'd hope. <laughs> As I did say, Poland, but I am not a hundred percent sure. Anyway, here we are. Electra bringing out the Velvet, and we do know uh, Electra's Indian Velvet player. And honestly, this is my first time seeing Jazbek play, so this is going to be very interesting. That <laughs> what? <laughs> it's pretty much just Dia was just doing a lot of resets there, and just hit Electra so much, and already at such a low health with just a few seconds of the round. However. Electra's taking the turn back, playing a very aggressive velvet here, not afraid to just rush down in and beat the apple. That might be into his demise, but actually able to block the cross of JC. Electra is uh, pushing the attack back into the corner with a level one. 
Okay, my Oh, covering the Telesi with a snowflake. That's actually something you have to keep in mind as a Velvet player. Like, usually when you're setting up your icicles, you're very prone to getting hit with the Telesi. However, if you cover yourself with the snowflake, you're, you'd, you'd be a bit more safer in putting out icicles. Obviously, you're pretty much calling for the Caprica player to go a bit more aggressive when you do dash blocks. However, I think that was a very good position to be doing that. Potentially, like, wake up Telesis. Look, it's all around my Javik. And catching Electra off guard there. Tries to go for the reset with the fruit, or rather the vegetable in this case. The broccoli is not a fruit, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that card. See, just... Doing a complete confusion play, Jatek doing here, and the hard knockdown, but just a GA afterwards, and Electra just opts her to shatter B to get out of there for a while. Electra has to be careful there. Oh, she gets chipped out. Quite unfortunate. Okay, keep in mind, only best of one. So like after this this game, they, each each team will have to send their players quite immediately afterwards. And in this case, whomever wins here. Will be the team who has to send their next player first. Uh, I'm done a bit peeved by that word trailer, not really doing a complete science, so I'm gonna just fix that for a bit. Thank you. <laughs> okay, but it looks like Electra has the initiative here, toast for the level 2. Attempts to go for the dashing grab there, but Jazak was able to pull out there, but the Shatter C not being blocked at all. I have to take into consideration the connection as well, but oh there, the cinnamon roll just catching. Oh no, Electra has to be a bit more aware or mindful of what Jadek's going for here. Just complete confusion play. A lot of resets going on around. Oh, but finally. Oh, was able to respond to block the Telesi, but was not ready because there was a fruit underneath. And oh no! Jadek was able to take it! Electra was so close. But unfortunately, Ekra was able to take that, and Team Prairie takes the first game. Alright, so since Team Prairie got that first game, wow, what a fantastic job there. <laughs> okay, so Prairie will have to send their next player first this time. Who is your next player? Okay, by the way, is I have to check on these two. Bicaf and Marakin are still not here, so... I will have to ask, oh, okay, before you send your next player, okay, also, I need... Okay, the, the thing is, Bicap and Ragman has still haven't shown up, so what we're going to be doing here instead is two players will be having an extra life each for each round, uh, for each set. So the thing is, uh, I need, I need Team Rain to know this because... They need to strategize based on who are available for their opposing team. So we have to we have to declare this who have the extra life. This is what we're doing instead of you know shuffling the teams again because we already had the team set uh, since yesterday. Okay, so the two players who have extra lives will be Finnick, and since I'm taking a spot of Finnick, I, I, I guess I'm the one actually taking the extra life. And Ultimate Wolf, aka Baltoist. So to okay, all right, hold on. And uh, okay, I will inform that of that. Okay, and it is fine. Anyway, uh, who is the next player for them to send? Okay, Arnab is sending himself. So Arnab, uh, who will face Arnab? Okay, so so Arnab is the team leader for Team Prairie, and the team leader for Team Rain is Mikey Beats. So Arnab is sending himself next for the second fight. Now we need to know whom Team Rain is sending next to face them. Okay, they they seem to be having a discussion about this. So let's just wait for a while. Let's let them figure it out. Okay, just to show everyone again whom we have for each team. So earlier, uh, Jadek was already able to get his fight against Electra. So 
for this set, we just have these five players left, but uh, two extra lives since Bicap and Ragnar are still aren't around. They will maybe catch up later for the next uh, for the next set. But uh, for the other group, we have Feli, Oleander, Rev, Papliak, CDP, Mikey. Electra X had already had gotten his fight, and then Jive. So they are sending. Hmm. Still no declaration. We need a decision. <laughs> Who are you sending? Okay. So, the thing is, I can see the chat of the two teams. However, I'm completely ignoring the full chat because all I really need to hear are Arnab and Mikey Beats since they are the team leaders. So, I'm completely ignoring all of the chats right now. <laughs> Unless, you know, it's addressed to me. Oh, they're taking a while with their decision. Uh, I think after this this set, I will need to make them declare a player with a limited time limit. Limited time limit. Did I say limit twice? <laughs> anyway, there should be a time duration. There should be a, a countdown later on. So I think later on, I'll be asking them for to send their player. But for now, you know, since I haven't really declared that yet, so I'm just going to wait it out for a bit. In any case, I'll be having Arnab. Arnab just sit at player one already. And I'm going to be waiting for uh, Team Rain to send their next player. Okay. Seems like they they might all. It looks like Team Ray might also have be an, a player who is MIA as of now. <laughs> if you have an MIA player, you might as well be sending a player who's not who's already there because waiting for them is just you know gonna take a lot of time, and maybe all the players will be exhausted by then. Who knows? Anyway, let me switch the scene back. We different transitions. Woo. Looking pretty dandy. Well, not really. I don't know. Some of them are dying out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're still trying to make a decision. So, Mikey, I need to hear from you. Who is Team Rain sending? All right. Okay, Mikey is typing right now. We're going to see whom they're sending. The anticipation. It's killing me. All right, there you go. Rev Papliak is the one they're sending next. So from what I know, Arnab is an Arizona player from Malaysia. And Rev is... Actually... Rev plays a variety from what I last seen, but I think it, the last time I saw him play was uh, Paprika. Was it? I am not certain. Not, I, I'm actually starting to lose mine. Oh shoot! Oh yeah, I got kicked off. All right, there we go. So anyway, uh, Arnab from Malaysia and Rev from the US. 266 ping is actually not so bad considering the distance. <laughs> We gotta lower standards for proper connections, you see. Okay, anyway, starting then the next one, I'll be giving just a minute and a half time limit for each team to send their players. Otherwise, I'll be forcing a player from them. It's sudden rule change. <laughs> a minute and a half. So uh, as soon uh, once the opposing team has already declared your player, you have a minute and a half to declare your next player. Otherwise, I'll be calling randomly and yeah, yeah. This is so that we can keep the games going. <laughs> 
Now, actually, maybe a minute and a half is too short. Two minutes. Two minutes. Let's keep that just two minutes. Anyway. Arnav versus Rev. Okay, here we go. I'm, I, I actually got it right. Rev's actually playing a Paprika here, but looks like... Arnav's pr having a pretty good start, have already getting two stacks of magic. However, just drops some meaty there and actually... Oh no! 5C in the face, but Rev doesn't do anything after the 5C. Arnav's able to retaliate. He's taking the distance here. Playing a little fast. Ooh, tries to go for the magic head buff. Gets blocked, but no punish. <laughs> Elbow, let's go. Arnav is at home right now at the Sunset Prairie. He might be at an advantage here. Home advantage. Let's go. Oh, yes, the t-shirt. Rev's going for the calmos there, but drops there. Gets the reset with the throw, however. JC is a whole lot of pain. Arna has to be very careful here with his tech rolls. Uh, playing pure defense there, cross canter to take his turn back. There you go, just a proper spacing there and catches Rev. A little bit off guard there. Oh, but gets grab. That was a perfect timing to go for a grab, and yet again, Rev goes just, just, just loves to go for these hugs. That was a perfect timing for Arnab to get to, uh, rather for Rev to go for a grab there, because Arnab was actually going for magic headbutt, and that's actually one of the best ways to just deal with it. Just, just grab it. Just, you don't need to block. Just grab it. In any case, there you go. Just unfortunately drops the combo after the launcher. It's really hard to connect the JA with Arizona after the launcher. Oh, just has to block this, but wasn't able to figure out where which side exactly it was. So if you're a bit confused of which side Paprika's going to when she goes for the raw super, or, you know, just a super in general. Uh, where eyes are looking at is where she's coming from. So if she's looking at the right, she's gonna come from the right. And if she's going looking at the left, she's gonna come from the left. It's something to keep in mind of, because it will really help you out to block her. I mean, you know, after a block, you, you have a free 5 seat punish, so it's gonna be a whole lot of pain for them. Oh, that's a perfect time to super. Unfortunately, no level 2. She, Arnav doesn't have the meter for the level 2. Oh, I think he could have gone for the kill there had he gone for a 5A. That headbuck C is actually too slow and he's gonna get punished right there. Oh no, gets another grab. Oh, oh, oh there you go. Very close. Arnav could have dropped that, but able to take the round back. And both at the set point. I mean, there's a best of one. So after this, they have to send their next player out. Oh, the patience play. Arnav finally finding perfect opportunity to press the button there but unfortunately unable to fully convert off of that 2b hit quite earlier oh rev getting a little impatient there gets caught by the stomp c oh 2c is a quite dangerous to go for in arizona oh punish there keep in mind cart b is punishable they can frame trap you with a super or a launcher However, for the most part, it's punchable. Oh no, he backdashed! See, if he go for a panic like that, like that's the right direction to try to block it, but the backdash will get, make it get hit. Alright, there you go. Rev takes the game for Team Rain. Alright, next up. Uh... Let me ask who is Team Rain standing next. Okay, again, we're running. We're we're going to be running this uh, quite a bit of a limited time so that we, we can keep the games going. Also, let me ping these two again. Drop blocks. <laughs> All right, so they're sending CAD first, the so CDP gamer first, and. Uh, so next, uh, Arnab, who is King Prairie, sending in response. I cannot spell Prairie. Oh my god. <laughs> so C C P is already waiting on the shrine.
All right, they're sent. Uh, wait, I sorry, I'm seeing the chat. We need the official declaration first. Official declaration on the tournament chat. Or I mean, it's pretty much as the event chat right here. Anyway, Baltoise is the one whom they're sending first. There we go. So wait, do I have the size of the team right? Nope. Let's switch that up. There we go. Okay, here we go. CDP versus Baltoist. So CDP is Asia's shanty player. Baltoist. As I've seen, he also plays a variety. I wonder who he actually is fixated on playing because I'm actually uncertain. But I know both of these players. Pretty small players. But let's see who is going to shine here. Oh, Baltoy is going for the Oleander against Shanty. Let's see if Kadet actually knows how to deal with this. Oh, just a 5A start. Ooh, very good. Pressing a button instead of a Baltoy. Just keeping Cat away. Oh, but going for the aggressive suddenly. It actually gets caught by the 5C there, but no pickup. And now Baltoist is just going around with Cat. Oh, but that's an unfortunate timing to go for a spark as Cutlass goes through it. Oh, but 5A5 into Launcher doesn't actually connect. Oh, very good. Press a 5A there, catching the Cutlass. Going for the sparks there. Oh no! Trying to up back, but gets caught by the cutlass. No blocking from Plauto. Oh, 2 2D, wake up. 2 2 D again? Oh, but that's not when you want to go for this part. Had finds a gap there. Grab gets in there. Give me that key. I know you've got it. Round two. A fight. Just goes for the goat walk. I keep calling it the goat walk. What do you call that move yet again? The bulkhead. Yes. I go for the bulkhead immediately in the round start. But, you know. The thing is, with uh, with Shanty at the start of the round, especially just in general, she doesn't have magic, but most especially that occurs in the start of the round. Shanty doesn't really have a threat with bulkhead. Like, it's a matter of just reacting to the bulkhead. Uh, because. You know, Shanty doesn't have magic to go for a standstill, so it can be kind of tri tricky for you as a Shanty player to try to to commit to the ball pit. All right, but Balto has takes the round back. So far, we're at equal footing for all of the games so far. Like all of the players are just getting rounds each. Oh, gets caught by the Cutlass. Unfortunately, that six C wasn't fast enough to catch the Cutlass. It could have caught it had it been earlier since, keep in mind, 6C isn't really a projectile. Or rather, it's definitely not a projectile. Oh, but Valdez is in a world of pain here. Oh! Able to respond to the cross up there. Oh, blocks that. And maybe able to take it out. Oh, tries to go for the super, but drops it with the grab and unfortunate. Oh, no! <laughs> that was a cluster. Hell right there. Valdez could have actually caught, had that. And then Cat could have actually had that. And then Balto could have had that. So had Balto is able to go for the super at the start there, I think he would have had great advantage there. But misses it, goes for the super again, but just gets avoided by Cat. But then Cat misses the punish. And so so many opportunities were missed there. Alright, but Team Rain was able to win that one. So Mikey yet again will have to declare. Next player for Rain. Quite unfortunate thing. Alright, but definitely some exciting games there. Jive is next. Okay, so Jive is the next player for Team Rain. Who is Team Prairie sending? Special declaration here. Me. <laughs> okay. So it's gonna be me facing guy right here. What a surprise he says. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 
So I guess I I don't know. I I, I guess I'll do self commentary here or whatever. Take your pick. Maybe I could just sit in the commentary. You know, no, no, no. This is fine. All right, here we go. I mean, who else will I be playing? I only play one character. Oh, by the way, it's been five days since I last played TFH. So I wonder. I wonder if I still have the muscle memory. I mean, it's definitely gonna be there, but I wonder if I still have the mindset to play this game. I've been playing too much Minecraft in the past few days. All right, here we go. Just try to. Okay, we still have it. Okay, we're just gonna push back, jive into the corner. Go for this soft knockdown, but I dropped the... Okay, that was a bad idea. Why did I 17 try to JC? I'm just gonna get anti here there, of course. Okay, what is he gonna go for? Okay, JB into low. Not ready for the 2C. Top knockdown, let's go. I dropped that. Ah, too early. I should have delayed the 6A there. The 6A was too early to do anything there. I'm in trouble here. Oh no. I tried to land cross canter, but. I didn't land in time, and I got caught by the 60. Okay, we still got it! <laughs> that straight JC saved my ass. I would have been in a world of trouble there. I'm definitely rusty, a little bit. Oh, I could have level 2. My mind isn't thinking of level 2 right now. But you know what? This is fine. Let's just go for the hard knockdown in the corner. Oh, he's not ready for that. Oh, shit. I didn't want the air dash there. Will he go for level 2? Yeah, he's going for it. Yeah, two. Okay, let's see what he does here. Epilogue? Epilogue? No. At the lock? No. Die. Bitty living spice. I'm so focused right now. I can't. I can't say my thoughts. Okay, here we go. We got it. <laughs> All right, I want it for You're Team Prairie. <laughs> you have much to learn. Tianwa wins. <laughs> I'm so focused right now. I can't. I almost forgot about V dash. I genuinely almost forgot about V dash, and then when I remembered it, I immediately went for it, like twice in a row. All right, but yeah, GG's for that one. Okay. Anyway, uh, since Rain lost this one. Oh, rather, since, yeah, since Rain lost this one prayer, you will have to send her next player. So, next player for Rain, ah, uh, for Prairie, shit. Oh, come, I forgot V dash. My brain just turned off for a bit. Like, I even forgot level 2 for a while there. Like, I got the 2C at the round start, and it's like. And then I went for the normal combo. It's like, oh, wait, I could have gone for level 2. But yeah, anyway, uh, Arnab, you need to send your next player. <clears throat> is he around is the question. Yeah, it's still offline. I did remind all of the players of the time zones. So if they're unable to show up on time, I'm sorry to say. 
I've said it every single time I announced it. So, let's see who they're sending out next. Okay, Baltoys is their next player. So, Mikey, who is facing... <clears throat> My chef is a minor, so it's okay. <laughs> it was going to... Well, to be fair, yeah, it was going to be 2 a.m. on their end. He pinged himself and said, you're up. Mikey is going to go up. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Mikey, player one. Okay, so let's have Mikey for player one, please. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. This is just for me to ensure I have a stable connection with the fight. Because uh, what happens here is the spectator uh, follows the connection of player one. At least that's what I've been told. So, you know, if it's not how it works, better safe than sorry anyway. But uh, since I have a better connection with Mikey, I opted to put Mikey in player one. And you know, I can just switch the display very easily with air on the screen. Anyway, we're at 2 2 right now. They're just pretty equal footing so far. Looking pretty good Don't for our crew magic. battle. You walk a dangerous road, Forsaken One. Uh, I've heard it all before. Mikey and versus I'll prove you wrong. Battles. Let's see how this really? works out. Tian Mo. Fight. And all younger. 6 a immediately at the round start. It's actually not a bad call to go for, you know, try to check your opponent, but he, that actually loses the 5v round start, and some Tianho players love to go for that. Oh, it's just flying around on Balto. Balto has to be careful here. Maybe want to go for, yes, those JCs, 6As, 2Bs, those buttons will be really good. 5Cs as well. Those buttons will be really good for Oleander if Tianho just pops to fly around too much around Oleander. Lots of scrambles are happening here. Like, even I'm not sure what's happening anymore. Oh, he tries to go for the Ash after the V dash, and actually, because of that, it's not plus enough. Only plus four is a Tiano. Wow, what a six A by Mikey right there. But not well enough. Round two. Fight. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm saying. The five B round start. That's something that Tiano can opt for. However, as Oleander, if you display 5A a lot or dashing 5A at a round start, you're actually going to be making it the, the Tianho hesitate to do to just press a button at the round start because all of Tianho's buttons loses to 5A basically. At the same time, you know, this is a best of one, so it's really hard to gather that intel in just one match and you only have like a uh, maximum of three rounds, two rounds if you if you win or lose all the way through. Impressive. Oh, there you go. Balti's going for the strings. However, but that launcher just unable to connect, and Mikey's able to take his turn back. And this is looking pretty dangerous for Balti. Raw super right there. No punish is gonna happen there. Oh, but the V dash finds its way in, and there you go. The super just to go for the kill. Mikey, taking it. The team. Rain. Alright, we only have one last player left for each. So, who hasn't Team Rain sent yet? It's gonna be automatic. Uh, they have to send Feli, and the extra life is mine. So, it's gonna be me versus Feli. Uh, there's no need to declare that because, you know, last players remaining. So, Feli. Okay, uh, Mikey, we need you off the shrine. <laughs> okay, we got you. All right, Belly, where's myself? It's Julio. Let's go. Best of one. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, oh, let me switch that uh, because I'm playing for a team. 
Prairie. Okay, hopefully not too much pullbacks, but you know, it's part of the fun in this match. Is... Oh yes, I'm playing my best even though I'm not supposed to, but you know. Like, uh, uh, team, Ra team Prayer you will kill me I if I don't play properly. Up with your Maybe I should have opted with a different character for this. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. I Ready? wouldn't have won against Jai if I don't play. That's a reset. I could have punished that. I don't know why it didn't. Oh, he dropped. <laughs> Is it ain't this prayer vs rain? It's just prayer vs rain, or it's the, 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 the just the team. Yeah, the on stage power up bonus. Let's go. A long vs straight. I mean, Alright, <laughs> and we got it for Team Prairie. You're not a warrior, okay, lives are now reset. All of the players have been able to play, all of the lives have been put out. So we're going to have a next RPS. Because it's kind of like a next set, but look at good so far. 3-3 free, free for both teams. Okay, you know what? I think we should take a very, very quick break. Just a very, very quick break. Like, when I say quick break, I mean, like, maybe, uh, five minutes. <laughs> and I must say, I kind of need this break. <laughs> because keeping all of that is a bit, hmm, I don't know how to put this. But uh, anyway, let me just set up a screen for... Uh, hold on. That's a good way to put this. I just realized this isn't really looking that well. Oh well, it's gonna be fine. Uh, anyway, I will be setting, resetting the count. Okay, we'll be right back in five minutes. It's a quick break.
I think I just realized that I didn't turn off the desktop audio, so I think that might have been doubling sound on the stream without me noticing. <laughs> but sorry about that. Anyway, uh, we are back, and it is time to resume the crew battle. So first off, uh, let me just confirm because we're going back to the rock paper scissors because it's the next set of lives. Anyway, rock paper scissors. Let's see here. All right, so the both players have already decided. Uh, let me just let everyone know what was chosen. Uh, all right, so Mikey chose Rock and Arnab chose Scissors, so that means Team Prairie will have to send their first player. Okay. All right. Uh, let me just inform Team Rain about this. Okay. So the thing is, they're sw they're switching up the double life. I shouldn't have the double life because. I'm not supposed to be playing in the first place. I'm just playing instead of the uh in place of another player because they're mid MIA. Uh double That's Okay, so wait shit. Wait, sorry, not bad twist, that's my mistake. Okay, so Arnab and Jadek will be having the double life. Now, no more changes later. No more changes later for the double life to avoid confusion. Okay, this is final until by, uh, unless Whitecap and Rackham shows up. Okay, that's fixed. That's fixed. <laughs> so no more, no more confusion. Because it'll be really confusing for Team Rain if we keep switching whomever gets a double life uh, because the two players are missing. Anyway, uh, it is time. Okay, it is time for Team Prairie to send their first player. Arnab, who is Prairie sending first? We need a public declaration. <laughs> These guys just paying themselves. Okay, Arnab is sending himself. Let's see, Mikey. Response. Okay. Also, Arnab, please sit at player one. Public declaration, please. We need to see who is going to be sent. Sorry, all of this conversation is happening over at the, the Discord server. The tournament chat is actually for public view. The team chats are only for each team's viewing. So if you are interested in like, seeing what's happening in the tournament chat, you could go ahead and join our Discord server. The Discord server, while we are focused on the Asia-Pacific community, it's the Discord server is open to everyone. As a matter of fact, this event is non-region law. Though most of our other events, the major events such as uh, the high octane or tournaments, weekly tournaments, are only open to Asia, Oceania, and uh, East Russia. <laughs> Just these three regions. But for the for very casual events such as this, the Prairie versus Rain, and we also have the Fauna raids which we'll be having in the future, but no official announcement yet. Those events are open to all regions, so everyone can participate in those. Anyway, we're waiting on Mikey to declare their next player. Uh... We, need, we need to know who's coming up first. 
Okay, they're sending Feli. So, Arna versus Feli. <laughs> Alright, so Arna versus Feli, here we go. Uh, let me just switch up the scene for everyone to see that. Oh, that's not the transition I wanted, but it all works out too. <laughs> Anyway, here we go. So obviously, not Arizona versus Oleander. We're never gonna be seeing palms in our events, are we? We're never gonna be seeing palm. I mean, at least we're having Arizona represent now. We also have Velvet on general. We also we have two Tianho players. A bunch of Oleander players. Paprika is also been shown up. Yeah, just Palm. Palm's never showing up, fortunately. Okay, Arnav's under pressure here, already sitting in the corner. Oh no, punish! against that launcher, unfortunately. There we go, just trying to close in. Arnav's trying to wait to go in, but unfortunately that JB whip is gonna get hit by a 5B. And here we go. Belly pushes Arnav back into the corner and now taking his space again, but Magic Dash is out of there. Oh, 2B into 6B. Catching Belly a little bit off guard barrier by the switch of this low into high. If you're masochist enough, you might pick up Palm. <laughs> Alright, and there you go, being pushed back. Oh no, and quite unfortunate there. Arnav wasn't prepared for the teleport by Feli right there. Change just use the star wipe. I don't know if I have that transition. Oh no! Arnav's just sitting standing there. Oh no, what happened? What's happened? This is controller disconnect. Unfortunately, the fight must go on. The fight must go on. He has to do something here. I'm not sure what's happening on on Arnab's end here, but he has to play. Or if he just dies here, you know, can't, can't really say that. Oh, this was just pure unfortunate. I wonder what happened on Arnab's end here. Yeah, he definitely lost control. This character. Keep fighting. Go on. It, there we go, Arna finally moves around and very honorable for Feli to finally realize that Ar wait, Arna's not moving. Okay, maybe I should not hit him anymore. Okay. However, you know It is what it is. Oh, but Arna's trying to take his turn back. Oh, what's happening here? Just a drop right over. Oh no! The teleport, no response there. Oh, Feli's just playing very defensively. Oh, just getting two seed over and over. Oh, tries to go for a reset there. Oh, and unfortunately for Arna, finally, Feli finds an opening. And this could be a kill. Super? Oh, so Super would have done it. Ah, but unfortunately, he magic head... Uh, he head buffs right into that spark, and that's not gonna work out. Okay, I wonder what happened there. But, uh... Regardless, that is a point for Team Rain. Eat that EFK. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that 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 things happen. All right, but since Team Prairie lost that one, they'll have to be sending their next player. Uh, hold on, what's happening? It's, it's probably getting hit to close. The health difference. Who knows? That might have been the case. Anyway, uh, Arnav, who is Prairie's next next fighter? Oh wait, no, no, no. Oh, wait, never mind. Wrong. <laughs> uh, Rain, sorry. Uh, the the winner will have to send their next fighter. Who is Rain's next fighter? <laughs> Hi, Air Vixie. Yes, here we are. Another event. At the fauna. So while they're deciding on their next player, let me just show everyone who are players. Uh, though we have some absentees uh, due to some issues, or I, for, for other people, I have no idea. Arnav, Baltoist, and Jadvek are present for Team Prairie. Unfortunately, Phoenix having power issues, so I'm taking his spot for the meantime. Pike Evan and Rackham are missing. You missed the registration. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Bixie could have had a good time joining here, but maybe you can join the next 
Prey Reverse Strength is definitely not going to be the last. But yes, these are our players. Since there are two missing players, uh, Arnab has designated himself and Jadek to have double lives so that they can be equal because Team Rain is actually complete. Team Rain has Feli, Rev Papliak, CDP Gamer, Mikey Beats, Electra X, and Jive in their team, and they're all present. A complete set. All right. Anyway, let's go back to our fights. Uh, wrong transition again. Why do I keep using wrong transition? Anyway, Arnab is sending Baltois in. Who it? Uh, and Mikey sending Electra X in. So Electra P1. Let's go. And l let me switch that because Electra is going to be player one. Okay, so Alexa is playing it for Team Rain. Baltois is playing it for Team Prairie. Prairie is a little behind in just a one point. That's no, not a much big difference. This is a first to 12. Bicap is absent because he's waiting for the next Tsukihime game that Satsuki's, <laughs> that Satsuki's ruined. <laughs> yeah, Bicap has been addicted to Melty as of late. He only has, f he, last I heard or spoke to him, he said he only has five achievements left missing for the Melty Blood type Lumina. Alright, here we world. go. Velvet versus Oleander. Mm, Baltoy is going for Oleander here against Electra. It might be a little bit problematic as this matchup is generally considered favorable for Velvet. Oh, that launcher is definitely going to get punished. And Electra just goes for it. Oh, wait. 2B. Push this out. But that Snowflake is going to be covering Electra. That aggressive play is pretty smart if you're going to be moving with your Snowflake. And that Snowflake actually caught Baltoise off guard. Oh! What? Did he just super in response to the teleport? <laughs> that is next level. I've never seen that before, but worked out very well for Electra. And looks like... Oh! Tries to go for the reset with the Icicle put out there. Rather than just going for the combo there. Oh, but... Here we go! Valtteri is going to respond with his own raw super, but I'm not sure if that's pretty smart right now because of the life lead. And quite unfortunately, there Valtteri just takes, gets taken down. Round two. All right, here we go. Round two. Oh, Electra just drops down an icicle A quite fast there. Valtteri is trying to two to B there, obviously. Yeah, two B was not intentional. But there you go, 2 b and once again, teleports behind you. Nothing personal, that 60 is just gonna whip. But Electra is in the midst of the back, there's no way to punish that. Oh, the launcher is going to get punished, however. But Balto is finally taking the initiative, pushes Electra to the corner, but just drops a combo. I'm not certain what Balto was going there for. He saw a whip grab, but no meter to go with to even go for a super there. I'm not certain what the idea was there. And unfortunately, that drop allows Electra to take the initiative back. Oh! But Electra wasn't ready for that tech and just gets caught with a 5v5A. 5 oh, wins away. So yes, Velvet wants the distance in this matchup. Oh, that drop, however! Electra could have teched a li little earlier for the kill, but it's all good. That 5C into super is just gonna finish up Baltoist. And here you go. Electra takes it. For Team Rain, 5-3. They are ahead by 2. Alright. So, yet again. Next player for Rain. Looking pretty good. So, for Team Rain, they, they already had Belly and... Uh, Electra play, so I only have four players left. It could be Mikey, could be CADP, could be Jive, and shoot, I'm forget. It could be Rap Papliak. So here we go. Jive is the one they're sending in next. Let's ask Arnap, who is Prairie's next player? There we go, Jive pops right on in. Okay, so Jive. Jive's already sitting player one, that's good, good, good. Uh, 
Okay, they're sending Javek Max. So Javek, here we go. Jai, it's Javek. Let's see who's going to win this one out. So Oleander versus Paprika. That's what we're going to be seeing right here. Ping is 233. Not bad, not bad. Oh, it's even dropping a little bit. 216. Let's go. We're already at our third game for the next second set. And Rain's already trying to go ahead. Leading by two. It's Team Prairie going to be having their comeback. You got lucky with the super. Yeah, as I presume as what CADP Gamer has mentioned, that was probably an accidental option select. And pressing two buttons there to go for the shatter. He gives you super if they try to teleport behind you. That's not a bad idea. Something I should keep in mind. Or maybe other Velvet players should keep in mind. It could be useful. Okay, however, their job, they're just putting down. Oh, they're playing very slow. Jive is playing this very patiently. You know, just going for very simple stuff. Trying to see if Jadek will be able to respond to this. Thank you. Oh, but goes for the full combo there. Reads in front. Just goes for the low immediately. Jadek not ready to block low, it seems like. And not ready to block at all, it seems. Just a 5B working out. That's a mid, FYI, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, is Jadek gonna get the meter here? No. This sets up. Puts down a trap right there, gets a perfect. Jadek will have to be a bit more mindful. How will he respond to Jive's offense? Backdash just puts out the cinnamon roll, but that's not gonna work out if, if your opponent hits you earlier. That cinnamon roll is going down immediately. It's gonna be inactive as soon as you get hit as Paprika. Well, teleports behind, but Jive is just waiting for that. And you know, cinnamon roll is not gonna have any threat anymore if you just get hit once again. Tries to 16 response to the telecy. It seemed like Jai was completely waiting for that. Unfortunately, just a tad bit late. It's really hard to react to. Let's be real. Okay, there you go. 60 down, down to ground bounds. Double jump JC. Unfortunately, Jadek was caught pressing buttons here. What is Jive going to do here? Not even gonna go for level 2. Not even gonna press any level. Oh no, he drops it actually. He has actually intending to go for it. And he's trying to go for the max damage combo into level 1. Regardless, it all works out fine. And now Team Rain is already ahead by 3 games. I can't. Dang, they're on a roll. Team Rain is on a roll. Already ahead by three games. That means they're halfway through winning this first to 12 team battle. However, you know, as a winner for each point, you have the slight disadvantage of having to send your next player, you know, just to keep things a little bit spicy, keep it intriguing, so that the counterplay advantage would be on the, the, the team who lost a bit first. But as you keep sending out the wrong players, or not necessarily the wrong players, that's not the right thing to say. As you keep sending the players who will be losing their games, you're getting behind and behind. Anyway, we have to hear out uh, who is Team Rain sending out next. Rev. They're sending out Rev. Arnett, who is... Who is Re who is Prairie's response to Rev Papliak? I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing the names correctly. Please let me know if I'm pronouncing your names wrong. I know some of you are in the chat. Like if I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing job that correctly, if that's how you even pronounce it. It'll be best it'll be to everyone's best interest if the names are pronounced correctly. And also let me know if maybe I'm using their incorrect pronouns without me realizing. <laughs> but uh thankfully over at the Fauna Discord, if you haven't joined that yet, we have roles for pronouns. Very important for us to be aware of these things. So, yeah, take those roles. And everyone's welcome here, by the way. So long as you play TFH, it doesn't matter from where you are right now. I'm pronouncing names correctly. I'm the breadmaster. Heck, yeah, I'm doing pretty well with that regard then. Anyway, so they're sending out Rev. Who is Team Prairie sending out in response to Rev? Yeah. 
So there are only since like three games on there are only three more players. So uh Team Prairie only can send Arnav, Jadek, and uh well me, I since I'm taking the spot of uh, Finnick for now. So because Arnab and Jadek has a double have double lives since uh, Bicap and Rackham are st not still not around. I mean, they're having a tough decision here because they are aware that they are behind the scores here. So Arnab has finally made the decision, or at least it looks like it's already typing. Okay, Arnab is sending himself. Let's go, Arnab player one. Let's see this rollout. So Arnab versus Rev. Let's go. Uh, where is Arnab though? There we go. Arnab player one. Doggo pet the doggo. Oh wait, did you hear the dog barking again? I have my volume up so high on my headset I cannot hear my surroundings. I should be a bit more aware of my surroundings. Very dangerous. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you, you got. Maybe you get someone. Hopping in on your house and nobody you know. Be careful, guys. Well, I have my family with me, so should be safe. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Arnab versus Rev. Yet again. Arizona Paprika represent. Let's see how this rolls out. Oh, just gets hit with a 5v5. And Rev just going for 5v all around. Arnab's had enough of that. Goes for the knockdown, or not really, just goes for the magic headbutt pushes. Rev into the corner, unfortunately gets hit by the bite yet again. Keep in mind, when you're trying to throw out your lasso of Arizona, you're actually slightly extending your hurt box for a short duration there. Go for the 4D. Interesting idea if your opponent goes for a jump afterwards. However, like, you have to be careful there. You can get punished at that range. And looks like Rev's having a pretty good time here. Having Arnav in the corner. Oh, but Arnav's finally taking it back. A lot of hurt oh, hits there. A cross canter. Just keep it. Oh, the aggression, but Rev just decides I'm gonna go for a grab here, and Arnab just gets taken out for the first round. round two. Let's see what's the next response here. What's the round start? Just a stomp, no re no follow up. Oh, Tusi afterwards. Works out pretty well, but unable to maintain the OP and just gets punished afterwards by Rev. The launcher, no punish! Oh, but interesting. The stagger pressure, slightly working out, but Rev just mashes out, gets grabbed yet again. Rev is really loving these grabs, and it's giving it. He's getting a lot of mileage out of this. These grabs. That's something Arnav should, should start to become aware of. Oh, goes for the super, but that's the drop. No punish by Arnav there, unfortunately. Oh, yet again another super. Go for the punish. Two C. Maybe not the best way to punish that. You gotta go for a five C, and maybe a string you could do there. If you're gonna go end with a two C, you have to maximize that OP pressure that you have. And there you go. Rev takes that game already ahead by four games team range okay and next player who is it yeah we're, we're going to be having a lot of pings here on this score Okay, so I think who's played already. I'm not sure. Let's take a look of that, guys. So we already saw Jive, Rev. Wait, yeah, Rev. We, we literally just saw him play. Electra and Feli play. So we only have Mike and CDP, it seems like. If I understand correctly. So let's find out who they're going to be sending out next. And then after this, after they select, pretty much this is an important decision because after they select their players here, that means they're already fixing the, the last player for the next fight. So they're pretty much deciding the matchups for the last two fights already. Strategizing is part of this. <laughs> Unfortunately, in this case, actually, uh, regardless of whomever uh, Team Rain sends here, Team Prairie actually has control of whom they want to face each because Team Prairie can actually just decide uh, whomever Team Rain decides to play here. 
it Prairie's just going to respond. Okay, Mikey is sending himself. So who is facing? Okay. Who is faking? There we go. So Mikey's sending himself. Arnab will have to either choose me because I'm filling in Gaijin or himself to face Mikey. And if whomever he chooses here, he's already deciding who is facing CADP Gamer next. Jadek. So he's sending out Jadek to face Mikey Beats. All right. There we go. Uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey P1. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, now they take P2. Alright, there we go. Let me switch that on the screen. I'm having the right one shown. Okay, yeah, we do. All right, so that means for the last fight, it's gonna be Gaijin versus CADP Gamer. But let's see how this rolls out first. Mikey beats the Tianhuo from Australia. I mean, we have two Tianhuo players from Australia, two notable Tianhuo players from Australia. But Mikey is one of them. And Jadek, if I'm not mistaken, you know, Polish player. Wow, now deciding to play Palm. This is an interesting turn of events. Knights think that Palm is actually a character who has a pretty who has a kit that is pretty effective against Tianhu. I'm not saying it's the best, but the kit actually works out. Like that JC, for instance. Mikey won't be able to do his flight shenanigans as much if Jadek shows up his JC a lot more often. And unfortunately there, uh Jadek just gets caught up a bit there. Oh, and see that? That's what I mean. That JC is very quick for Tiano to even really respond to. Oh, and Jonix having a pretty good time here. It looks like that's a low right there. Oh, Mikey's getting very low there. And Jonix is getting the pressure to grab. Mikey's not prepared for that. The launcher afterwards. Oh, but the 2D. What an interesting use of 2D there by Mikey. And it's actually working out well for him. Oh, Ash. The flight Oki. Oh, just goes for the super. Mikey's a little bit in trouble there, but oh, just a whip grab. I think he tried to go for a push block there. And Jarek was able to take the first round. It's looking pretty good for Team Rain right now. Or rather, Team Freire right now. Oh, the bark round start. Unfortunately, the 2C doesn't connect. It is possible to connect that, FYI. I just, the timing is a little bit tough. Oh, just tries to 5B, hoping Mikey's playing extremely aggressive, but... Mikey is the type of player who's going to be a little bit more patient while doing his flight. And a, if you immediately try to go for anti airs, he's just going to catch you. And the playstyle that Mikey's going for, you have to be a bit more aggressive if you want to really respond to that. Oh. And he goes to go for the JCs, for instance. At B dash, just works out very well for Mikey. Mikey takes the next round. Looks like Mikey's slightly adapted. There's still the final round to go. Both players have been having pretty good showing thus far. Oh, Jada just goes for the 2C, but just not gonna work out against a JD. Not at that height. Oh, but here we go. The bomb goes. It wasn't completed, unfortunately. Mikey just jumps, tries to block, air block all of this. Gets Mama Dog out. Oh my god, I just all that JC yet again. Oh my gosh, that that was so. Um, I, I I have to say, I'm not sure if that would be considered ambiguous, but I didn't know where to block there. If I were in Mikey's shoes, I don't know where to block there. Or if he just tries to sick a there, or maybe that was a five a match. Regardless, gets caught, and Mikey's just going in for the level two. Does he have the combo to kill Galdrick, or, or at least get the right setup? Drops a combo here, goes for the super. Oh, unfortunate for Mikey. Mikey could have actually grabbed there. So at that range, if Palm Raw supers in front of you, like literally in front of you in throw range, you can throw Palm and the throw will actually be completely, uh, the, the, the super will actually be nullified completely. But that bottom press by Mikey unfortunately gets him caught and Jadek takes a game for Team uh, Prairie. Now we go to the last fight, which will be between me 
and CADP Gamer. Let's see how this rolls out yet again. Okay, I'm be facing a shanty. Take your pick. Tianhua. It is my solemn duty. Okay. I have to play this seriously or else everyone team prayer you will kill me. <laughs> I shouldn't be playing here, you guys. Oh well, let's see how this goes. Okay, let's play this patiently. I drop. Oh, I drop. Oh, he's not ready for the second overhead. Can we get the crash finally? Thank you. JC. That's a cross canter. Oh, finally showing that. Let's see how he responds to this. Yeah, I'm not ready for that JB. And I'm gonna go for the kill here. Like a moth to the flame. Alright, he doesn't have level 1 yet. But he's definitely gonna have it in the next touch. Regardless of who touches here. Uh, that is if I didn't drop. Actually, let's go for the hard knockdown. Let's see what he does here. Grab, backdash. Oh, that's gonna whiff. Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Let's go. Let's go. I <laughs> okay. That be dash. <laughs> All right. There you go. He pretty takes that game. You have much to learn. 8 V dash, 0 block so far. <laughs> we gotta get someone to block the V dash. Alright, and there you go. Now we're not gonna have a break anymore. The break I just really needed earlier for the restroom break. But I think it would be for everyone to everyone's best interest if we keep the roll. The ball rolling, not the roll balling. That's not the right expression. <laughs> but anyway, here we are. Let's move on. Okay, RPS time again. Okay. Let's ask both players. I. Yeah, okay. Okay. They declared. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, they got a draw. Both of them went for scissors earlier and they got a draw. Okay. Alright. Finally, RPS has been brought out again. After a first draw. Let me just declare this for everyone. Okay. Okay, so Mikey chose scissors, Arnab chose rock. That means Rain will have to send their first player. And our and team prayer you will have to be will, will, Oh wait, shoot. Oh no 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 that's Yeah that's right, that's right. Scissor loses a rock. My my brain stopped for a hot moment there. Okay, they're sending in Jive. Okay, that's already the official announcement. Okay. Uh let's see, Arnab. Who is okay? He's already typing. Let's see who this player is. Are oh, you still thinking? Okay, it seems like they're having a really good think about this. A really good thing about this. I 
just wait out and see. Let's see how they're going to make the decision. Mmm, okay. Sorry, I'm seeing the chat. <laughs> but uh, yeah, some interesting uh, ideas are rolling, we're rolling out there. Okay, they're sending out Jadek to face Jive. Okay. Let's go. Okay, I'm spectating, right? Gonna see it. Yep, okay, I'm spectating. We, we Gucci, we Gucci. <clears throat> Puppies! I mean, prepare the battle! I have to be here! Okay, here we are. And looks like Jadek is a, becoming a bit more confident with his palm and actually going for palm against Jive here. But Jive's just throwing out fireballs like there's no tomorrow. Oh, but now starts to play aggressively, but gets caught by the 2C. And maybe Jive's reconsidering his approach here. Oh, the 6 is the dog out! Oh, the double JB. God, he's just going to send out there. Oh, there you go, the tractor trap yet again. Oh, just bounces right back into that. And Jive's having no mercy, no remorse whatsoever against here. Just going to absolutely go for the full offense here against Yabe. Oh, trap yet again. Oh, unfortunately, that dog call was completely unsafe against that spark. He just gets counter hit. Round two. Fight. Here we are, round two. The bark round start finally connects the 2C. But no follow up there. Could have called the dog to maintain a bit of a pressure. Oh! A bit of a scramble there. He gets counter hit. That is pretty good for Jadek right here. Up to hit. Just high beats there. It's finally closing in. Just good patience by Jadek. And it's a proper time to go for the JB. Unfortunate drop right there. But the JB yet again connecting. 2C. Jadek's getting mixed there. But the 2B trading with the JC. And finally, Jive seems to be taking his turn. Goes for the raw super. Jive's in a bit of a scramble there. But God, he manages to get his way out there. Looking nice. But Jive doesn't have the meter to go for level 2, so no full offense here. But the next touch might allow him to do it. Oh, and there you go. That's the next touch. And he's going for it. Yes. No brace stop. And he's actually going to connect the combo right after that one. A bounce. He's going to go for it. Oh, what a mix. Just teleports behind you. Nothing personal, kid. Jive takes the first game. for team win. Okay. All right, again, we need Mikey. Who is Rain's second player for set three? This is the set three already, guys. And Team Rain just needs to win four for them to close up this team battle. Prey, on the other hand, still needs seven wins. Yeah, I was pretty looking good at that part. Okay, they're sending in Electra. Who is going to be okay if you're sending in Electra who's facing Electra is the question strategizing it is a casual event however there's still some thinking onto this it's a different idea all together, I'll give them the info at the very least. I like just a general info. Oh, there you go! Let's go. Okay, uh, wait. Okay, we'll also, yes. Oh, you're sending him in! Okay, also... Wait, hold on, sorry, there's some news happening in the on the Discord. If you, if you want to see what's happening right there, you really should join the Discord chat and see the tournament chat because that's whatever, where everything is happening right now. 
Uh, I can't show it on stream, unfortunately, because I have access to both teams. Uh, yeah, to both teams. Uh, chat, and that is okay. We also. All right, so they finally have for another of their player back, Benick. After their power issues, finally returned, so he'll be taking his spot back. However, I'll be taking either Bikehaz or Maraki's spot instead, since uh, they're still lagging player. So only one player from the team will be having the extra life. Okay, so I need to inform Team Rain of this. Okay, since. Okay. All right, letting letting them know of that. Okay, good, good, good. So, to let everyone know, uh, Jadek no longer has the extra life. Arnav has the extra life, but Finnick is part of their team to play. I'm still playing in instead of one of the players. Okay. So, uh, wait. Our official declaration. Who is the next player? Okay, so keeping in mind, sorry, keeping in mind that uh, Electra is already whom Team Rain is sending. Okay, Penny. <laughs> sorry, I, I missed the message. <laughs> but yes. Okay, we're finally going to be seeing Fennec versus Electra. So Fennec is actually going to hop in to fight Electra. It doesn't matter who is player one, player two. Okay, any, any. <laughs> Whoever gets on first, slot. <laughs> okay. Okay, Electra versus Fennec. Let's go. Friendship. <laughs> Both of these players know each other very well. They're both from India. And they'll be facing each other. This very fantastic thing right here. So Electra, as we've seen earlier, already uh, plays Velvet. Finnick plays Oleander. Now, I do have to say, Finnick did a fantastic job. Like uh, You might be seeing, like he doesn't have much hours, but he is a well-seasoned fighting game player. Like Both of these players are. But Finnick has displayed his ability in the last Lambs tournament, wherein he actually got second place. He almost got the upper hand against 42. He actually fought against Electra in the loser's final and won against him. Pink Let's see if Electra will be getting his revenge in this match. Pretty hair won't save all Electra gold. versus Fennec. Let us go. Fennec's make a comeback to save Team Prairie. Let's see if he's actually going to get the point, but he's not moving. Maybe he lost a controller. Okay, there you go. He's moving. He's on back. All right. And very honorable for Electra to wait a bit there, realizing that Fennec did lost control there. But Electra does have the advantage right now, getting the magic built up slowly and has the life lead already. Just a slight life lead though. It's looking at he's got the offense already. Oh, unfortunately, Fennec unable to block that Shatter C. It gets hit by that stray icicle. Just a counter hit. That looks really painful. Oh no. Yet again, but Electra was unable to take initiative or take advantage of that uh, icicle. Gets counter hit by Fennec, surprisingly. Here we go. That's a drop. That's. Hmm, that happens to some players. That's an interesting uh, string or rather drop to happen. Like a launcher into 6C, you cannot really normally 6C. It has to be a tiger knee input. So, Finnick is actually accidentally doing a tiger knee input to get that 6C after the launcher. Quite interesting. <laughs> anyway, there. Finnick does have the pressure right now, but not having a life lead. And Electra is just blocking flawlessly. He blocked that 6C, but unfortunately went for the cross counter. He could have gone for the punish there, but it's all okay. But that Shatter A, I think he tried to go for the Icicle, but that Shatter A actually saved them because Finnick teleported behind him and actually caught Finnick there with a the Shatter A, intentional or not. I think that's the second time Electra has gotten an accidental OS that worked in his favor. Oh, but that 2-2D allows Finnick to take his turn back, that JC straight hit. Oh, throws a Chapter Trap right there. Wow. 
Electra just staring at it, just waiting to see what possibly could happen. But actually could have taken that turret. Keep in mind that whiff with the chapter trap, you know, anything that whiffs generally just you're supposed to be able to take your turn just in general and most most especially that chapter trap quite earlier oh that six a whip but uh, it's not gonna get punished cross canter that's actually not a bad idea just to maintain the offense it's really hard to punish oleander after the raw super gets blocked there are definitely some ways but just in general it's pretty hard to do oh the empty jumps both players could have been phoenix uh phoenix demise there but that Snowflake is the one that's a true demise and the taunt by Electra just showing off like I got his back You're not upping me one again this time. That's what Electra's trying to send here is a message Yeah, it's just a best of one unfortunately, so uh, wait for her next <laughs> It's just a best of one so yeah, we have to wait for the next set anyway uh, team rain won that yet again, so Mikey, who is the next? Uh, who is the third player of Rain? I'm just waiting for them. Okay, my key is making a decision of whom they're sending in as their third player. Okay, and it seems like they've decided to send the ADP Gamer, Cad P. So Arnab needs to decide who is facing Cad. <laughs> okay, just make just clarifying something to our to Arnab just to give him an FYI. Keep in mind, this is a game of strategy. So if you keep sending the same player against a certain player, that is part of the uh, what should we call this? That is part of the strategy. But Arnab's really considering maybe he wants someone else to be sent here. Yeah, yeah. All I'm saying our info so i'm not going to push you <laughs> to make a decision <laughs> since i since i all right declare that <laughs> just make a declaration publicly let's see okay he's sending me in okay there you go he's sending me in he says he wants me to face the cadp and looks like here we are take your pick Tianhua. honored mother give me strength How about a dip in the pool, hothead? Come, show me your power. Ready? Fight. That waiting game is just working out well for me. I dropped. Go for the hard knock now. 5C? Nope. Yeah, that double back there is going to get caught by the 5B. Yeah, just double JB, 40 JBs all around. Oh, I missed that grab. Yeah, 
Yeah, that 2C is going to chase you. I didn't get the crash, unfortunately. I wanted a crash to get more meter. Now he has one bar of meter. I'm actually a little bit of trouble here. Maybe I should have gone for more resets or just hard knockdowns. And then it's not a real trouble, but... It's something to take into consideration against Shanty. I dropped it. Cost canter. Actually, this is fine. Let's go for the hard knockdown. Okay. He actually up backs. Interesting. Okay, let's go for the level 2. I dropped that. But this is fine. Because that's actually a reset safe situation. Uh, that was something at least I've studied. And it worked out. Anyway, point for Team Prairie. Let's go. Alright. Let's ask Arnab who is descending next. Who is next from Prairie? Yes, GG's. Ah, let me out. Thank you. <laughs> oh no no this is no this is right whomever wins will have to send the next player this is whoever wins will send the next player Yeah, okay. It's understandable. I, I also get, got confused about this a bit earlier. But yeah, the thing is... Actually, lo uh, next pick is loser's advantage. This is so that they can... They, you know, supposedly the idea is for the, uh, the... The one who lost will get a slight advantage to catch up. But, you know, the, the advantage, the, the advantage just doesn't really dictate or like make it absolute an absolute win. Like, it's not going to be guaranteed for them to take it back. And we've seen that. That's why Team Rain has a three-point lead right now. It's, it seems like they're sending Baltoist in. So Mikey, who is facing Baltoist. Let's see who's coming up. Who's coming up? Rev! Okay. So, Balto versus Rev. Uh, yeah, Balto P1. This is fine. Let's switch it up. Okay. Rain just needs three more wins. Prairie still ha is still halfway there. Alright, let's see this. Both from the US. I don't know which parts of the US, however, as I do not remember all the states there, as I've you never been to the US. The brain, you will surrender now. I actually didn't see the ping between the two. I wasn't paying attention. Sorry about that, but I would presume this is going to be a fine no, connection between the two. Baltuis versus Rep, Oleander versus Paprika. A matchup we've seen plenty of times. And this event thus far and Balthus has to be really careful about throwing out those launchers no c no continuation after the launcher and Rev didn't go for a punish or at least take his turn after that read normally you should be able to take your turn or punish Oleander for reading just in front of you raw not really doing anything keep in mind that is generally punishable oh teleport is behind it's not a real string, but it's gonna be working out as Red is not tanking at all. Oh, it tries to go for the grab twice in a row and it just works out! That LSE catching Balto is off guard. Unfortunately, not able to completely continue from that on. He's trying to throw the JCs, just keeping Red away. 
And there's a raw super right there. What is Valtteis? Uh, what is Rift going to do? Tell us C. Unfortunately, land cancel allowed Valtteis to block that. Go put the card C! Oh, and Rift might be able to take this back. Oh no, not after that drop of the card C. Just gets hit by the JC and Valtteis takes the first round. Round two. Fight. Alright, just 2v's out, just trying to keep Rip and Arsos. Most definitely, that's a cool idea we're seeing right there. It's 5c launcher, unfortunately he's not in range. Ah, uh, and that's a counter hit. Actually still in recovery there, so couldn't really do anything about that. Oh, wow. There's a GC right there. Oh, it tries to grab yet again. Press a super. And I, I, Baltus has this idea of just running out raw supers. Might catch Rev off guard, but that 5C is going to be the one that's going to be giving him or finishing the job. Thanks for the next game. Alright. Next up, uh, Prairie has to send their player, next player again. Arnab. Next player. So rain is slowly catching up. We're seeing it seven nine, maybe just maybe. Rain would uh prairie would be able to actually keep it toe to toe, head to head. Might act. Might, who knows? Might actually just go on on the way in. Arnav's making a decision here. Oh wait, let me count. Nine. The seven is sixteen. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> I can't count a little. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> we only have the last players remaining. So Arnav versus Mikey. The team leaders are fighting each other now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Team leader fight. Oh wait. No. No. It's only him with his two lives, no. Wait, what? I can't count! Hold on. 9 plus 7 is 16. There's two more. Oh, wait. Wait, two more. <laughs> I can't count! I can't count! <laughs> Whatever. Just the... Just the... <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> Just declare the next one, just for me to be sure. I can't count, wait. 9 plus 7 is 16. Alright, yeah, they're still, they're, they're still playing. Okay, so, Mikey first. Right, because Arnav still has two lives. Right. You still have... And... Okay, so that means Arnab will be playing two games in a row. So Arnab sit on P1, Mikey P2. After this, Belly P2. Okay, there you go. There you go. I got lost there for a bit. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mikey. Where's Arnab? So Arnab gonna be playing two games in a row. This is. A bold play. Have to be adjusting to two different characters and two different people in a fight in a row yeah, here. So Mikey run. playing the Tiano mode. The words are not going to be facing an all the end or completely two Five. different playstyles you have to do. Not playstyle, rather game plan that you have to do. Oh, and looks like Arna is just getting caught with his base. This is straight. Mikey's going for putting Arna in a confusing situation. Yeah. Like you did not want to be jumping, super jumping backwards there. Not really gonna get much mileage out of that. As Arizona, what do you want to be doing and running out of that? Or if you're going for a 6-8, you're brave. Or if not, you really have to go for the JB. Rather than the back. Let's go for the 2B. And the reset by Mikey. 
the V dashes are all working out really well. Can go for the kill here. Oh, but forgot that he already used the brown gods, but I'll go cheat that JP. It's gonna give him the perfect to the first flame. round. That was perfect. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Alright, or the 6 eight just snags a bit of Mikey right there. And yes, Arnav's really just going up, going for these anti-air options now, or trying to challenge, at least challenge Mikey in the air. Go for the JBs, but now Mikey's a little bit more patient, they're just waiting the ground grabs. Arnav off of that, and now this time, going for the switch here, taking the offense at JB. Just so hard to deal with. Level 2, this JB, interesting. I'm just going to drop. Oh, that goes for the 2A into the B dash. You can go for the kill here. There you go. What a fantastic finish by Mikey. Takes the game. Do not let defeat be the end. Oh, they're so you close. There's two games, but they cannot close it up yet at this set because they only have one player left for this set. So that means we're going to be having set four. However, there is a chance that if Oleander wins this, that means Team Rain will just be one game away. So Arnab has to stay on his shoes here. Okay, next up, Belly. You are next. Just waiting for them to hop on. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty good ping. But let's see if we're going to be seeing a good match. Arizona versus Oleander. Arna versus Philly. Time to hit the books. This book hits back. Okay. Round one. Arnab has to do his best here. At the advantage of his team is slow. Or rather, the advantage of the opposing team is just getting bigger and bigger. As these fights progress. Oh, but not the follow up after there. Just gets caught. The J2C yet again. Oh, and Feli's just keeping going on with his J2C. Not afraid to use that as an offense. And Darnab's not really able to... Do anything there. It could try to anti-air that, but it's really scary, understandably. Tries to block that. He's trying to block everything here. Okay, and Arna's having a little bit of an issue here. So something that you will have to learn from this is trying to dash block because you're not really able to close in the distance if you're not moving in and just trying to block those uh those sparks. Oh, finally catch an opening there. Oh but not quite good enough. Gets spring trapped by the launcher. Logical outcome, really. Round two. Fight. There we go. I'll just find these right there. Oh, the six C catches Arnav off guard there. Yet again, another six C. Let's see, punish that, but the 6 is just not in range. I'm not sure if actually A would be able to punish 6C at that distance on a block. Just because understandably, Arizona does have quite the stubby normals. I think like 2B is just one of the buttons that have a pretty decent range, or 5C. Oh, tries to raw super there, that was an idea. Finally, Arnav stakes. The lasso there, oh, there you go, just adjust it, just to prepare. The stomp C, unfortunately the drop there, oh no! Okay, he's just able to keep it out, no punish there, dash blocks in, that's right. Oh, but that magic dash is unsafe. Keep in mind, magic dashing in is unsafe. <laughs> and that team Rain is just one point from winning the entire set. Now, unfortunately for team Prairie, they do not have the immediate advantage of selecting their first player yet because we are going back to the RPS. Rock, paper, scissors time. So, Mikey, RPS. Pray, uh, and then Arnab, RPS. 
Rock, paper, scissors time. A little bit fortunate, Fennec's finally able to come back. But this is looking pretty bad. Oh, but it's looking pretty good. Okay, so let's let everyone know. Oh, sorry. Uh, not, that's not the right one. Must choose their first player. All right, so what happened for the RPS is Mikey chose paper, Arnab chose scissors. That means Rain will have to send their first player, and Arnab, their team will have to choose the player to face the one that Mikey selects. Now keep in mind, Rain only needs to win once. If they win this, it's over. There's no more next one. He's winning the RPS. That's a win in his books. Okay, let's see who is Team Rain sending out for their first player, or potentially the last player for the, for Team Rain to play. They're sending in Rev. Okay. So Rev Group is going to be playing Arnav. Next player. Who's carefully. If yes, because this is a first to twelve. After this, if Rev wins, there's no more next game. So Arnav. Or at least just internal, the collective team effort, Team Prairie, has to select their next player very wisely for this one. Oh, he's sending me. Let's do this. Okay, the pressure is on me for Team Prairie. If I screw this up, I'm going to get strangled. <laughs> I'm going to get strangled if I screw this up. Okay. Take your pick. Here goes. Tianhua. It is my solemn duty to save Fonam. Come, show me your power. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Thanks. I got frame trap. I'm getting pummeled. <laughs> Definitely only in my gunpoint. No! Please do not destroy my Minecraft builds if I somehow lose this. I miss my meaty. Holy shit, that's not good. I got air grab! No way, I'm not gonna lose, no way! I'm hitting the F button on accident because I'm panicking. I'm getting the meter. I need the meter. Do not let defeat be the end. Yeah, I need the JC there if, if Paprika does the o opposite side super, it's actually safe. Oh, that fight be worked out. Ah, oh, the grab! I gotta go for it. Level 2, here we go. Oh, there we go. We Gucci! <laughs> Alright! 8-11 right there. Okay! 
However, Curry is still in a uh, precarious spot because they need to declare their next player. You will dip in my my bread in something. No, look, I'm just playing. I'm just playing in someone's stead. I, I can't do anything about it. So it's eight eleven. Who knows if Team Prairie wins four games in a row here? They might win. I want to say something so bad to Team Prairie, but I can't. It's gonna be unfair if I say something. <laughs> ah, if I if I weren't the one hosting this, I I already throwing a bunch of info already into the decision making here. I mm, I want to say something so bad. <laughs> Have to win four games in a row. There's there's no other option. They need to win four games in a row. Okay. Now understandably for this one I'm not gonna put a time limit anymore because this is potentially their last game. We're two hours in. This is potentially Team Prairie uh, th th last game. And Team Ray might actually get this one in the bag now. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe Team Ray might make it exciting and maybe, you know, just. Go for interesting place to keep er to, to keep everything moving. But if I were a team rain, I would just close this up, send our best player, and just finish it up. It's the idea. Team Prairie, on the other hand, is at a really disadvantage here. Yes, they get to choose their player. I would they will choose their player, but Team Rain will respond to their player choice. So they do not have control of the matchup. It's just a matter of like, who is going to show up first? It's a really hard spot to be in. You have no control. You only one game off. If you lose this, it's over. <laughs> yeah, they're having a really in-depth discussion. The thing is, okay, I do want to let everyone know that after this event finishes, I will be opening the, the text channels for everyone's viewing. And, you know, you can see, like, what kind of discussion your opponent did. It's, you know, all part of the fun. This, yet again, keep in mind, it's just a casual event. Nothing sets truly at stake here. But we want to play to our heart's content. Okay, um, I'm not sure if that's something to be discussed. <laughs> okay, they're sending in Finnick, and I think that is a very good decision. As Finnick is finally able to play, here goes nothing. Mikey, who is fighting Finnick? 
Phoenix Finnick. Maybe they'll send Electra to keep it interesting yet again. The the Indian matchup again. They're making a decision. They're making a decision. Finnick. Okay, Finnick versus Mikey. Mikey is putting himself in. So uh, I have better connection with Finnick. Finnick P1, Mikey P2. Let's go. Finnick versus Mikey. Alright, again, potentially the last match, but maybe Finnick is here to save Team Prairie. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's see what goes out. Two frame delay. Oh boy. Some decision making happening right there. I have trained years for this. You Prairie is with us you. as the stage is selected for rain. Is this a bad omen? Or is Finnick here to show that he's here to triumph over rain? Uh, looking like a good start for Phoenix. He has the corner push already. Has a magic up. Trying to enclose Mikey in the corner. Tech rolls out there. Oh, but the sparks are working out for Finnick. A little bit dangerous there, but it's working out a bit. That 6 8 pretty good. Catches Mikey off guard. That's launcher! Actually catches Mikey amidst the flight. And there you go. That's huge for Phoenix. Okay, pushing him back. Oh, that's 5 e just under right range. 2 2 D. Catches him, trying to make it ambiguous for Mikey there. Oh, unfortunately, ends with the launcher, and that's gonna be a full punish for Mikey. Oh, actually drops there. Oh, but the JC actually squeezes through. Not an anti air for Finnick right there. To be mindful. Okay, Mikey doesn't drop this one. Oh, goes for the hard knockdown. He wants this, wants it real hard. Oh, goes for the 2A and like a 6A by Finnick, takes it back. There we go, first round by Finnick. Round 2 and Finnick has a meter economy advantage there. Look at that. Already a meter and a half. Goes for the knockdown. Gets a stack of a stock of magic. Rather, rather just one stock of magic. There you go. 6A yet again. Mikey is just getting caught off into the air. He has to be careful with his approach here. Oh, but the dash in 2B is actually a good idea. But a reversal. And Finnick. Here we are. Oh, the 6D. But no follow-up. Just flies and tries to go for an Oki. But that probably wasn't the best idea. Phoenix takes his turn back. That's a super level two. Oh, he can chip out here. He doesn't really have to try anymore. But not even a chip. Just gets hit. There you go. Phoenix giving hope to Team Prairie. 9 11. Not a reference to an actual 9 11. That's a score. Uh, 9 for Prairie, 11 for Rain. Unfortunately, Prairie will still have to choose it, keep choosing their player. Well played by Finnick, keeping Rain at their toes. They have to be more mindful here. So Arnab. Okay, next player. Oh, and Mikey's asking for a rematch after the event is over. He wants more of that. That is very nice to hear. This is an opportunity for everyone to meet up, meet other players, and maybe you would like to meet up the players of the Asia Pacific. We are right over here on the Discord server if you haven't joined yet. Make sure to join and get to know the people at the Fauna. If you want some games, a lot of people are up for that. Okay, uh, who is Prairie's next player? So they've already had Guy Gene Fennec play.
Arnav still has two lives. Jadek still hasn't played. And Baltoist as well. Yeah, and they're mulling over whom they're going to be throwing out. I guess this is an all or nothing. Public declaration. There we go. We need a public declaration. They're sending out Jaw Deck. Imagine wanting to fight all the <laughs> Can't be me. Can't be me. The spirit of prairie is with us, Arnap says. They're still making a decision. Wow, they're really taking this into consideration. I like this. I like this. Some thought process really working on for the teams. Okay, but one thing for certain. Jadeg is already being sent in. He has to win this. Otherwise, Rain will be already the, the Prairie Birds Rain winner for the third iteration. They just need to win three games in a row. How hard could it be? <laughs> this is so intense. Just watching them chat. Just. Just. <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading them. How hard could it be? You don't know. Yeah, I, who could know? I mean, the one who has the most pressure right now is Jodek. But if Jodek wins this one, all's on you, Arnav. Make a decision now, make a decision quick. I'll be pestering them. Uh huh. Imagine placing bets on yourself. I mean, you could do that. Some people actually do that. They're like, I'm going to place a bet on myself and then I'm going to win this. And I win this, I get double the money. Oh, uh, I mean, you're not getting any prizes for this turn. Maybe you win. But uh, in other events, yeah, maybe you could do that. Maybe you could do that. So waiting on them to make a decision. We are at 9-11. Okay. It's a little bit hard to wait on <laughs> on our players. They're still taking their time. They're taking their time. 
Let's see. Okay. It looks like they may be coming to a conclusion now. Since I'm reading their chat. I'm not going to say what exactly they're saying. Because that is for later reveal. And the reveal of both ch tax channels will be for public viewing. Once the tournament's over. Or rather, once the event is over. Okay, they're sending in CADP. Alright. Uh, Alright, there you go. Jadek, it's your time to shine. Come to fight CADP Gamer. And maybe it's Cad's gamer. It, maybe it's Cad's time to shine because if he wins this for the team, this closes up the game and they are officially the winner. Let me just switch up to the channel. That's the wrong transition, but that's okay. Oh, look at that fantastic thing! Three hundred sixty-six. The higher the number, the better the fights are going to be. Let's see this. Uh, let me switch that up. Rain. See, Cad is representing Rain here. And Jadex representing Prairie. All pressure is on Jadex. This is obviously the last set. Do I have to be here? Ready? Fight. Oh, there you go. The cut. Let's see. Round start catching Jadex off guard. The JC short hop. It's looking pretty nasty for Jodek, already had half health, just barely 10 seconds have elapsed. But finally takes a turn back, just trying to build some space here, blocks the cut, let's see, but not the right punish. Unfortunately, 5B isn't, I mean, that the 5B was not really timed properly there to go for the right punish. That JC is going to snag that bulkhead. Oh, it dashes in into that cut, let's see, quite unfortunate. Very low. Ooh, just bonks the dog out. But not all is not yet lost. There you go, just the JC. Just oh no, Jade gets caught by the bulkhead. That trade is definitely not in his favor. And Cad was able to close that up. First round, one round away, and this might be it. Oh, just there, the reaction of the five B there. Oh, blocks it, but no punish. Two C. Oh, misses the meaty with the fighty dog there. Oh, it drops a combo. If maybe Jadek would be have the opportunity to take it back. Goes for the super quite immediately. Sets up the dogs. What is he going to do? Oh, going to play it slow. Just going to be waiting for Cat. But that waiting might not have been the right kind of waiting. Gets caught by the magic bee on the wall. Wall bee, rather. Oh, no. The next Oki is for Cat. What is he going to do? I just wall stuff. Oh, the JC actually hits from behind! Goosey goes try to space it out! Oh, the JB actually hits, takes a hit there, but that... Mo is not yet it! That's not yet it! Oh! Oh, he forgot he already took the, the hit there. Have to be careful here! Gets caught by the frame trap, and that is it! Team Rain! Takes a game, was very close to take that round back, but quite unfortunate gets caught by the frame trap there. And e even so, actually, I realized Palm 5 is so stubby. Uh, you're, you, you were actually unable to punish that. <laughs> Alright, and there you have it. Good games all around for everyone. Let's open up the, the text channels for everyone to see. Uh... Yeah, I'm opening up the text channels for everyone to see. Like, what kind of talks has been happening. There you go. Everyone can view the channels now. But anyway, Team Rain has won. So, congratulations to Team... Wait, that's not the right transition. <laughs> this one! Okay, congratulations to Team Rain. A complete team. Everyone participated. Uh, everyone for Team Rain was able to participate. Congratulations to Feli, Oleander, Rev Papliag, CDP Gamer, Mikey Beats, Electra X, and Jive for winning the third Prairie vs. Rain, winning it for under the flag of Rain City. That was really fun. 
uh, it went back and forth pretty much sometimes. It got a little intense by the end there, but unfortunately, Rain had won with a three point lead. And that concludes the third Prairie versus Rain. So I hope everyone had a good time. I hope even uh, I hope all the players had a good time. Maybe you all watching also had a good time. But this is definitely not going to be the last Prairie versus Rain. We're going to be setting it up sometime in the future, but uh, no official announcement on Prairie versus Rain yet. What instead I have for you is announcements for our next events. So the next upcoming event. Actually, you can see all of our events if you join our Discord server. If you're interested in seeing those or if you want to know what's going to be happening. However, our next event is our bi-weekly Fauna Wednesdays. I'll just call it the week exclamation point weekly. So the Fauna Wednesdays is our weekly events that are you know, considered ranked, uh, ELO-based, and pretty much there's no prize. However, this is going to be... Uh, a good way for you to practice up and really deal with uh, check on how players in the Asia Pacific region are playing. So the registration is already open. However, this tournament is only open to Asia, Oceania, and East Russia. This is coming in this October 13th. That is Wednesday. Uh, our time for Fauna Wednesday is always at 9 p.m. Korean time. So make sure to check your time zones as to not make any mistakes. Anyway, uh, next up for our events, we actually have the warm-up. So this is the major e major tournament that's being held in the Faunus, also open to Asia, Oceania, and East Russia. This uh, is also a bi-weekly event that is held on Sundays. The whole idea of the warm-up is it's a base, it has a league point system. Uh, we will be having eight warm-ups total, and the next the next warm-up is coming up this Sunday. Oh, this Sunday? Actually, let me count. Yeah, this coming. No, not this Sunday. The next Sunday after tomorrow, Sunday. So on October seventeenth, that'll be at three p.m. Korean time. We are having a total of eight warm-ups, and whomever are the top eight players by the end in the league point system will be eligible to participate in the final showdown, which is a major tournament with a prize pool of three hundred dollars. So. If you want a shot at that, please participate in the warm-up series. That is basically the qualifiers for the final showdown. And last but not the least, we are also going to be having... Oh shoot, I... Oh no, I have it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't use the right transition, but that's a-okay. Anyway, the next event we have is the Lambs. Did I actually update that? Lambs, exclamation Lambs. Yes, that is the right one. So, the Lambs is a beginners to intermediate tournament that is being held at the Fauna. And pretty much, you know, it's a skill-based tournament. We are focusing more on the newer players or people who have less experience. And the, the idea of the Lambs is for players who are not so confident in participating in the major tournaments, the big events, to have a, still participate in a competitive scene. Will be a bit more comfortable because they're with players around their skill level. However, despite this, I still recommend uh, players. <laughs> exclamation wolves boat. I still recommend players, beginners, w whatever level you are, to still participate in all of our events, as it's a it, every event you participate is an opportunity for you to build up your experience. Nevertheless, the lambs is only focused on beginners, so we have a ban list for this. More information on the Discord. Uh, no, not on the Discord, the Smash.gg page. So there's a ban list there. Previous Lambs winners are barred from entering. Uh, top four players are barred from entering. And so on. So if you're concerned of who... Uh, if you wish to participate, check out the list first and maybe you are barred from entering without knowing. Uh, at the same time, again, this it, tournament is only open to Asia, Oceania, and East Russia. If you want to join a beginner's tournament, and you're not from these regions, you may want to consider the Glue Cup, which is not out of our hands. Anyway, those are the upcoming events. Register now, and maybe you could join. Just make sure you join up the Discord server because everything is just condensed there. All of the information is right there for everyone to see. But that is pretty much it for our announcements. So once again, I'd like to thank everyone who participated in this event. I understand some people had some issues, maybe 
you know, time zones, maybe not waking up because it's freaking 2 a.m. in their place. Maybe they're having power issues. It, it, it all happens. But at the end of the day, it was all a casual event. Hope you all had a wonderful time. So I'll be catching you guys next time. Make sure to stay tuned and follow the fauna for more them finding hers events in the Asia Pacific region. But we are going to be calling it there. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.